Okay, so I'm pretty much tangent to that original circle I drew on all three faces. A little bit of a gap in there, but I'm just doing a demonstration here anyway. So now I have sort of a rounded triangular shape. That's actually a little big for a tool handle, but... Uh, so now I'll go back to the original centers. And if I wanted to put a ferrule, if I wanted to put a tool in there and put a ferrule on it, I can just uh, turn a tenon on the end here, back on center. So I could size that to whatever I wanted to use as a ferrule and to round over these corners is pretty much the same as uh, I'll go to a different rest that one the post is right in the way for where I want to put my finger And I could just uh, like grab some coarse sandpaper maybe. This is 120 grit. Stop. And that takes the sharp corners off the triangle and that gives you a uh, that gives you a tool handle that won't roll away on you when you put it down and it uh, gives you a better grip than a round handle if you're doing twisting with it like with a screwdriver or something. Um, that's maybe a little large in diameter for my hand, but uh, 
that's something you can always experiment with to see what's best for you. But that's uh, one thing you can do with multi-axis turning. Um, you can turn like on this one I offset both ends of the spindle on this one I only offset one end of the spindle so this end stayed round and the uh, the triangular portion sort of fades out along the length of it um, now that also tapers so it's smaller at the heel of your hand than it is at the front but uh, your, your fingers are smaller there too so you know that's not a bad shape either this one uh, was kind of, I thought was kind of interesting I, off, I had four different offsets which gave me sort of a rounded square but when I put the four centers at this end instead of being straight in line I offset the center at this end 45 degrees so this center was there and this center was over here and you wind up with uh, a twisted face or facet or whatever you want to call it that seemed like a pretty interesting effect might be handy for like a lamp or something like that I don't know uh, what would happen if you went more than 45 degrees whether you would get more twist or whether it would change the shape completely but it's something that you can experiment with it's uh, chuck up a piece of 2x4 uh, or something and uh, try moving the centers around and see what you get kinds of possibilities. Thank you for watching.